Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, is a thriving city rich in culture, history, and scenic beauty. Edinburgh has been an important city, focusing on education and art. If you are willing to visit this wonderful city, then here are the 10 things you can do in Edinburgh. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Experience the Dark Underbelly of Edinburgh Vault In the Edinburgh Vault, you can travel beneath the city. The vaults are a series of chambers created by the South Bridges Arches constructed in 1788. Tradesmen and illegal people use the vaults. The vaults became increasingly popular with the poor and criminals throughout time, and they were discovered in the 1990s uncovering a collection of interesting archaeological and historical artifacts. If you're feeling courageous, go on a ghost tour. Murderers and torturers used to use these vaults. It's said that these vaults are possessed. Number 9. Learn History of Edinburgh in the Museum of Edinburgh The Museum of Edinburgh is the ideal place to learn about Edinburgh's history throughout the ages. The National Covenant, historical city designs, and a variety of Edinburgh decorative arts are on display. The museum has a range of digital installations that entertain and engage visitors while teaching them about the city's formation and evolution. Don't forget to visit the museum's underground courtyard, which is home to centuries-old engravings and marble. Number 8. Have a Royally Good Time at Edinburgh Castle the castle is perched atop a high cliff, making it visible throughout the city. Because of its ideal defensive location, the site has been used since the second century. Important figures in Scottish history have stayed at the castle, including Mary Queen of Scots and Bonnie Prince Charlie. Visit Edinburgh Castle to learn about life in the fort during the Middle Ages. The Scottish crown jewels and the Stone of Destiny used in the coronation of British monarchs for centuries are on display. Number 7. Stroll Around the Historic Princess Street Since 1770, Princess Street has stood as the city's center and is today one of Edinburgh's most attractive shopping districts. Beautiful views of Edinburgh Castle with galleries and the Scott Monument make this an ideal location for photography. Take a break from shopping or photography at the Prince's Street Gardens, which have a wonderful floral clock and lovely grassy lawn perfect for a picnic. Number 6. Climb Arthur's Seat Arthur's Seat is a dormant volcano that is one of Edinburgh's highest points. Hike to the top for spectacular city views and a taste of nature amid Edinburgh. There is also a hill fort here, which dates from roughly 600 AD, while there are remains of old structures dating from 2 AD nearby. Arthur's Seat is said to be a likely location for Camelot, King Arthur's famed castle in mythology. Arthur's Seat is a dramatic and culturally significant location. Number 5. Taste the Fun at Edinburgh Zoo Edinburgh Zoo is a lovely and enjoyable day out for the whole family, with beautiful views of the city. You may watch adorable creatures in their enclosures or schedule a keeping experience to get up and personal with them and understand what it's like to work as a zookeeper. Daily talks are available, as well as several weekly activities, such as photography classes, feeding demonstrations, and film screenings. Edinburgh Zoo is a must-see for animal lovers and offers a taste of exotic wildlife in the heart of Edinburgh's historic district. Number 4. Take a peaceful walk on Portobello Beach Portobello Beach is a lovely seaside area a few miles from Edinburgh city center, with two miles of beach excellent for swimming and sunbathing. It organizes several popular events, including the annual Big Beach Bus and International Volleyball Contest with the Boardwalk. If you're thirsty, there are several pubs and cafes along the seafront with more alternatives on Portobello's lively high street, which consists of superb independent restaurants and gift shops. Every first Saturday of the month, a market in Brighton Park sells both fresh local vegetables and crafts. Number 3. Dine at some of the city's most well-known restaurants. 
Given Edinburgh's small size, the selection of fantastic restaurants to select from may amaze you. The Michelin-starred The Kitchen, a perennial favorite among locals and visitors alike, and the namesake Martin Wishart, where classic French haute cuisine is paired with fresh Scottish food, are two classic possibilities. Since its beginning in 2012, Timberyard has established itself as a go-to spot for individuals seeking a sustainable and seasonably focused menu. It's built in an old warehouse and owned by a family that prioritizes local sources, with many of the menu's products purchased from close outside of town. Number 2. Take in a unique view of the Camera Obscura. The Camera Obscura is Edinburgh's oldest tourist attraction, which opened in 1835. The gallery is specialized in optical illusions. You'll come across a mirror maze and an Ames chamber that appears to shrink around you. Even if you are fully stable, there's a vortex tunnel that will cause you to feel unbalanced. Climb to the roof for a spectacular perspective of the city with free telescopes available for up-close views. Camera Obscura is a fun and family-friendly way to spend a day fooling your brain and exposing you to strange feelings. Number 1. Discover fairy tales like Dean Village. Dean Village is just outside of Edinburgh and next to the scenic Water of Leith is one of the city's hidden gems. Visit Wellcourt, a 19th century mansion that was restored to its original beauty. St. Bernard's Well is close and once used to get water from the nearby river. Beautiful architecture, including a statue of the Greek goddess Hygieia, may be found at the well. Finally, make a point of crossing Dean Bridge, a beautiful bridge that connects a city with a village. Dean Village is a fascinating and well-preserved area ideal for getting a first-hand look at Scottish history. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.